What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your number five UAB Blazers, who are 6 0 on the season, are taking on the number three Alabama Crimson Tide here in UAB in Birmingham. This is going to be a classic game. This is going to be epic. If you guys are excited, drop a like, and if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content, and we're going to take a look at some recruiting. Why not? Let's take a look at some recruiting. We all want to know the future of UAB football, and as we take a look here, we got this guy, Babatoon James, who wants to lock out. So we don't want him. He doesn't want us, but we don't want him either. So no worries, right? I know he was a big time player. We, he had a lot of potential, but you know what? We'll live. We'll live, guys. We're going to be okay. You know, we're UAB. We're, we're really good. You know, we're turning into that elite program that everybody wants to go to. So, if he misses out on it, I mean, who needs him, right? Who needs him? So, we're going to get on with these other guys here. we got to focus on other guys. So, you're going to take a look at these guys that we have set for this week and seeing where we can put these guys in the rotation as the next few seasons roll around here. We still have that one corner that ended up being an instant uh an instant sign an instant like that's just amazing like i got an insta sign <laughs> um insta commit i should say um so that's obviously pretty exciting so we're gonna go to the top 25 polls now and the top 25 polls well they look like this south carolina florida alabama and uab four teams in the top five well they go one through one two three five texas is number four Boo, Texas for ruining it. Boo. But Arizona's in there at number six. Wow, interesting. Um, other notables in there. You got, like, Oklahoma's in there. Uh, Notre Dame's in there at number 12, and they're 6-0. and um, Ohio State and Oregon are 13-14, and 14, yet they're 3-2. and two. Uh, I don't know how you could be that high, that highly ranked and have lost two games unless it's, like, 10-2 and two or something like that. But nonetheless, we're going to keep going here. Uh, West Virginia is in there as well at number 18. Uh, Washington's in there. You got uh, Wisconsin in there. You got Navy in there at 24. And you got Virginia Tech at 25. So a lot of interesting teams in there at the top 25 this year. It seems to change like every year. But you take a look at the conference standings in the SEC. And UAB, if they, they got to win this game. They pretty much have to win this game if they want to go to a, an SEC championship game. Or even a national championship game for that matter. Because if they don't go there, then if they don't even go to the SEC championship game, well, there goes our national championship hopes. But nonetheless, it should be a good one today, guys. Um, nothing to be like concerned about as far as the entertainment value. Because, man, number three versus number five, it's going to be good. I hope to see you guys in the game. It's going to be a good one. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are ranked in the top five. Both of them have lofty aspirations. The winner here in this one will have a leg up in the BCS hunt. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. What now this is a great Are here at Legion Field as the UAB Blazers are taking host to the Alabama Crimson Tide, the class of the SEC. Even though a lot of people will say that they're just overrated, blah blah blah. But I mean, they've won in the national championship last year. I gotta give them props where it's due. Even though I'm not an Alabama fan myself, I do not like Alabama. Um, but nonetheless, look at James Hester Jr. taking this out to the 43 yard line. Here comes Justin Kelly. The Heisman potential winning quarterback here. And UAB 
looking to come out with their seventh win of the season here on the first drive. Here comes Justin Kelly dropping back to pass, looking right side, caught by Doug Nash, and he gets it out to the 45-yard line in Alabama territory for a pickup of 14 yards. And it moves those chains. Moving them chains. Second and 14. Here comes Kelly again in the single back formation. Three wide receivers on the play. Kelly looking right side off by Brian Green. Brian Green shoving down to the defender. Not, not shoving down, but he's holding his, he's trying to hold his ground against this defender. But he does pick up 23 yards on that play. Third and six. Kelly in the shotgun with Hicks on the left side. Kelly again getting this one off. Brian Green quick strike to a first down. And it moves the chains once again. And we are moving the ball so crisply here on this first drive. So ever so crisply. And Kelly taking this one in. Touchdown, UAB. It's now 7 nothing, just like that. Here comes Alabama on their first possession here. And they got a really good offense. Ryan Lee, Michael Simpson, Logan Mixon. And they got a lot of other good players like that guy, John Gallagher. 14-yard pickup and a first down. And here comes Ryan Lee on a second and five. And here comes that Alabama offense. Here's Ryan Lee looking to the right side or left side, caught by Logan Mixon, and he's taken out at the 40-yard line. First down, Alabama. Third down and eight. The defense is trying to hype up the crowd and make it loud for him, but it's not loud enough for these guys as they get that one off. And it's incomplete. I thought he may have gotten a foot inbounds, but they did not get anything on that possession. So now we get the ball back, looking to score again. Deep over the middle to Donald Hills. Past midfield to the 49-yard line, pick up, picking up 19 yards and a first down. Now first and 10, very next play. Here comes Justin Kelly, dropping back to pass. Looking deep downfield, it's caught by Doug Nash, and he somehow hangs on after getting hit like that. And it moves the chains again. We're in field goal range. And now with third and 10 looming, here's Kelly scrambling. Or it steps up to his left, right, and he throws an incomplete pass. And that was intended, I think, for Doug Nash. And we're going to end up settling for the field goal right here to make it 10 nothing as Adam Green boots that one through. He's got quite the leg, and it's now a two-score lead. But here comes Alabama. You never count Alabama out of football games. You just don't. It's like a cardinal sin if you even think about it. So here comes Ryan Lee picking up a big chunk of yardage right here past midfield into UAB territory, picking up 29 yards. And a first down. Third and six here for Alabama. Here's Lee dropping back. And he gets down to the 30-yard line right there for a pickup of 12. Or actually to the 25. And uh, actually it is at the 30. So first and 10 for Alabama. They do have their tight end in motion. They put him back into the near, off near side of the formation. Here is Gallagher with the catch. And a first down. Moving the chains again. Picking up 13 yards. And now they're down at the 17th. Second and six now. With 4.04 remaining here in the second quarter. They got their tight end in motion. I think that's actually a fullback. So they got him in motion. They're going to hand it off to Simpson. Simpson's got room. And he gets a first down. Picking up eight yards. And it's now first and goal for Alabama. Second and goal here. And the pistol this time is Alabama. They're going to hand it off to Simpson. And we missed the tackle. But they get and they get the touchdown, and it's now 10-7. Nothing to worry about just yet. You know, they they may have gotten a touchdown, but we still have the lead. Nothing to be too concerned about just yet. Third and two, as Kelly getting that one off to Brian Green, and he gets the first. Moving the chains again, barely, but we'll take it. He's hurt now, but he'll be all right. So third and 18 here for UAB. Can they get this first down? Kelly dropping back. Trying to go deep down, field, and he overthrows Doug Nash by like a yard or a step. That's that's rough. That's really, really rough. Sad day. And uh, third down and 10 here. And here comes Ryan Lee dropping back to pass. Deep down field. Down to Logan Mixon. Touchdown, Alabama. Just like that, they take the lead. And that was a beautiful pass by Ryan Lee to get that one in the end zone. So now it's 14-10 Alabama. Kelly again. Deep down field. Doug Nash comes down with it. And it's a first down. And now it's third down and goal. We're handing it off to Aaron Hicks. Touchdown UAB. It's now 17-14. And now third and four. Lee dropping back to pass. Scrambling up. Gets it deep downfield again. And it's caught by Logan Mixon. And Logan Merkson burns us not once, but twice. Oh, God. That was just 
That was horrendous. So now we're down by four to begin the second half. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Handing it off to Simpson is Alabama. He's got a first down and a lot more room to, to run downfield. Almost takes it down the midfield and gets a first down. First and 10 here for Alabama. Handing it off to Simpson. Simpson, and he gets it for a 10-yard pickup and a first down. I didn't think he got it at first, but they gave it to him anyway. Second and one here for Alabama. They've been kicking butt so far. They're going to hand it off again to Simpson. Right side, he gets another first down, and he's taken down for a gain of five. And he's averaging nearly six or seven yards a carry. He's been killing it today, guys. He has been lights out. First and ten again from the 28. Pistol formation handed it off. It looks like the same play all over again, except we cannot stop it. And they get another touchdown because of it. So it's now 28-7 team. Alabama's just kicking our butt. We don't want that. We don't want them to kick our butt. We want to win. We are here to win, guys. And we get another first down. Picking up 15 yards from Donald Hills. Four catches, 40 yards for him. So here we go. First, second and 10. Kelly. Drop back, looking right side, caught by Brian Green, first down. Picking up 10 yards, and it moves those chains. Moving up again, we are running the no-huddle offense, trying to get ourselves back in the game. We're down by two scores. We got to get back in there quick. So looking left side, it's caught by Thurman Knox, first down, 15-yard pickup, and it moves the chains again. UAB's offense has been high-octane, very prolific today putting up a lot of yards and somewhat a lot of points. This is our first possession in the second half, so we got to make good use of it. But uh, we don't right there, so we're going to end up uh, we're gonna end up going for it on fourth down. You know, I wanted to take a risk. We're at the 39-yard line, so we might as well try. You see right here, Kelly scrambling over the shoulder catch by Brian Green. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now 28-24 after that beautiful, beautiful catch. Just beautiful. Third and six. Here comes Lee. Drop back. Gets hit as he throws. It's caught by Anderson. First down UAB. Or not UAB. Alabama. As that one is getting them into UAB territory. So first and ten. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. They're going to put their tight end in motion. It's Gallagher. And here comes Ryan Lee dropping back to pass. Has time. Takes it off running. And he's going to get a first down with that run right there. Picking up 14 yards. I hate quarterbacks that do that, man. I really do. It's like cheese to them. And I put pressure on them, and they just take off running. They don't even look at the receivers. They just go like that. They don't even they don't even take their time. They just go. So they don't even, like, I, it, it drives me nuts. Anyway, I should stop complaining. We got to go back to this game. Third down and 10 for Alabama. And the shotgun is Lee. He has time this time. He's actually going to throw it, and he gets in the end zone. Touchdown for Terry on Anderson. It's now 35-24. 118 left here in the third. We get this one off to Donald Hills. First down UAB for a pickup of 13 yards and a, you know, past midfield. So we get it in Alabama territory. Third down and one here. Handed it off to Clark. Clark gets a first down. Moving the chains again. Whatever we got to do to move the chains, man. We got to do whatever we can. So we get this one off to Donald Hills again. And down inside the 15-yard line. And now we got over 300 yards passing. Well over 300 yards passing. Second and 10 here. Here's Kelly, dropping back to pass, getting this one off to Doug Nash, and he gets the first again. 14-yard pickup. 341 yards passing for Justin Kelly. Having a great day. Scrambling to his right this time. He's going to get it. Oh, no, he fumbles, but Donald Hills recovers. Touchdown, UAB. It's now 35-31. And now here we go, third and 15 here as we look to try and get this one in our fans once again as they're throwing it deep downfield for Logan Mixon and he tried to get too fancy with it and could not come up with it. So we get the ball back here down by four looking to score looking to take the lead back. Here's Kelly drop it back over the middle to Brian Green first down UAB and you know that's something that we just got to do we got to keep doing it. So first and ten play action again Kelly scrambling to his right gets it off to Jay Henderson. And look at Henderson down to the 21-yard line for a pickup of 15 yards on that scramble right there. Second and nine. Kelly again all alone this time. Looking quick strike to Donald Hills down to the four. And down for a 16-yard pickup is Donald Hills. He's been having a great game. And here is Justin Kelly. Third, uh, first and goal. Gets this one off. Donald Hills, touchdown Blazers. It's now 38-35. 
as we're winding down near the end of the game and we're looking to try and hold this lead. We, the defense has not been great at all today. But then again, we're facing Alabama. What do you expect? Uh, so 38-35, Lee looking over the middle to Mixon. Mixon has been burning us all day long. And uh, he's got 145 yards receiving. we got to stop him. He's been killing it. So they got their man in motion again. It's Jordan. Lee dropping back to pass. Steps up to his right and throws it deep downfield. It's caught by Jordan. First down, Alabama. Leroy Jordan picking up 26 yards. Now first and 10 again. Here is Lee. Drop back, handed it off to Simpson. Simpson taking it out to the 20 yard line and gets a first down. 190 yards rushing for Alabama. They've been killing it. And man, our defense is worn out. Third and four. They got Mixon in motion. Lee looking over the middle of Mixon. First down. And they keep the drive alive. Mixon now has over 150 yards receiving. Six catches for 151 and two scores. Just killing it. He looks like Julio Jones out there. Third and goal. They're going to hand it off. Oh, it's a read option. Touchdown, Alabama. As soon as soon as we had that missed missed opportunity, he was in the end zone pretty much for six. So it's now 42-38. We're throwing it deep downfield, and it's caught by Donald Hills once again. 35-yard pickup and another first down. Now we got to hurry back up to the line. we got to get a touchdown here. Kelly looking left side. Caught by Thurman Knox down to the 10. 19-yard pickup, and it moves those chains. So first and goal here at the 10. We're going to do a handoff. Oh, it's going to be up the middle. Touchdown, UAB, 45-42. And this game is just crazy. It's going to get even more crazy here in a second. Lee looks left side. It's caught. Leroy Jordan, 21-yard pickup. Fourth or, yeah, fourth quarter, one minute to go. Second and two at like the 46. Here's Lee. Getting this one off, first down. Down to the 43-yard line. Enough for a first down, though. So second and three at about the 35 here. And Lee dropping back to pass. Looks over, caught by Gallagher. And it's another first down for Alabama as they have one timeout left. Third and 14 here. We got to make a stop here. We got to make a stop. If we don't make a stop here, this game is over. And we could go home crying. So here we go, and it's almost intercepted! Oh my god! If we would have came up with that interception, that would have been crazy. But here comes the kicker for Alabama to try and tie this game up and have it at least, at the at the very least, send it to overtime for them. Kick is up, and it's good. But here comes the UAB offense. You cannot count out the UAB offense. Here's Kelly dropping back, looking over the middle of the Doug Nash. Down to the 36-yard line. 31-yard pickup, and we call a timeout. We have one left. And this kick for the win! Ah, uh, keep going! <laughs> no! We're going to overtime! Ah, uh, keep blowing it. It might just go a little bit further, but no. Third and six. Kelly dropping back as we start overtime. And he's taken down for the sack. Loss of six yards. And that is going to bring up the field goal unit. And this one from about four, 45 yards away, uh, 44 to be exact. But the kick is up, and it's good. So it's now 48-45. It's now third and 11 here for Alabama. Can they keep themselves alive? They're looking for that screen pass, and it's caught by Simpson, and we collapse on him just at the right time, and that is going to bring up fourth down for Alabama as they are now looking to tie the, this game up and set it to a second overtime. And the kick is up. And it's Bueno. 48 all. Second overtime comes around. Here comes Alabama. Can we at least make a stop and get them to at least to kick another field goal? Because that would be preferred. Because if we can at least kick, hold them to another field goal, I think we'll all be happy. So first and 10. They get another run right there from Ryan Lee. And now it's third and two at like the two and a half. Lee looks left side. And it's dropped. Oh, man. Oh man, that was clutch. That was a clutch drop. <laughs> I hate saying that to the guy, to the guy, but that was a clutch drop. I don't know the defense can't really pat themselves on the back. They should be really be taking a sigh of relief as we hold them to a field goal right there. It's now 51-48. Here comes the UAB offense looking to put up some points and win this game. Aaron Hicks down to about the 13-yard line, and he gets 12 yards on that carry. He's later on, second and five at the nine. Kelly in the shotgun. 
Drops back to pass underneath Donald Hills. Has a seam touchdown, Blazers. And the Blazers upset the number three Alabama Crimson Tide. Final score, 54-51. to 51. What a game. That may have been the best college football game you'll ever see. Honestly. This game was so back and forth. And it was fought until the very end. Both teams played extremely well. And you cannot... Alabama's, you can say they're overrated all you want. But hey, we did what we could to come out with a victory today. And we are now 7-0. And we could possibly move up in the rankings because of this win. We will move up in the rankings because of this win. What are we talking about? But how far will we move up in the rankings? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys will see in the next UAB fran uh, Dynasty. Will we move up to 3, 4, 2, maybe even 1? I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, my name is Tim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.